Саманта, пожалуйста. Саманта. Please monitor the tethers uh, very well. Yes, yes, I'm holding with my hand right now as I'm moving the hook. All right. And, and give me the tether with the hook, and I'll attach it. You will? Of course. All right. Give me your long tether first. Come sh uh, closer and then unhook the short one and rehook it again. All right, that works. All right, and that's the tether connecting the bundle. All right, I understand. Let me do a test, a pull test. All right. So the cube is on the ring fully. We copy. Uh, we'll have the orbital night in two minutes. That sounds good. And we can do it here. Can you take this on the monitor? Yes, Samantha speaking simultaneously. Could you please monitor Samantha? Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. We're working on it together. And then my helmet. Okay, and then you will not see the cube if I remove you that way. Okay, just uh, please wait. Uh, don't be in a hurry. Let me see. Maybe we'll move you this way. Give me just one sec. Approaching the uh, three and a half hour mark into uh, today's spacewalk, Oleg Artemiev with the uh, suit bearing the red stripes and Samantha Cristoforetti of the European Space Agency in the suit with the blue stripes making their way down to the uh, Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module yeah. from the Poisk module uh, for the uh, work uh, that will be involved in the next task uh, during today's spacewalk, that being the installation of a platform with an adapter on a base point or grapple point on Naoka 
that will uh, set the stage for the uh, placement of hardware and tools, as well as payloads, perhaps, uh, that uh, will be uh, administered during future Russian spacewalks. The uh, spacewalk, uh, which began at 9.50 a.m. Central Time, 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time, has proceeded uh, slowly but surely. The crew is behind the timeline. They, uh, they uh, deployed 10 nanosatellites, very small satellites, weighing about a pound apiece, part of a radio technology uh, experiment. They were deployed in sequential fashion, one after the other. That was followed up by the installation of an adapter for the European robotic arm on the Poisk module that will uh, serve in the future uh, to facilitate the relocation of uh, the Russian segment airlock from the Rosviet module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment to the Nyoka multipurpose laboratory module that will also serve as a staging area for future Russian spacewalks. That's it. Let's just move it slowly. All right, that's the MLM. We'll go straight. Oleg, do you remember there's also points on PHO? Yes, I remember that. That's all good. Move it like that. And we copy and we're just slowly moving. Just like that, this cube, cube stay all right, and that's on the right side. That's right. Now I'll rotate. That's right. This tether from Strela will need it. You see it? Yes, let's move it this way. It just flies that way. You see where to move it forward? Well, just uh, take a pause. Just rest. Samantha, you're holding to the handrail where we'll be removing it from. Okay, I just looked at it. Yes, thank you for the reminder. One tether is on MLM side. We copy and we're observing that as you speak. I have a request for you, Oleg. Can you help Samantha to translate from 4100 handrail? because it's a lengthy handrail. You want me to just help you only here and nowhere else? 
No, I mean here in particular, and because location is not actually that convenient also. Oh, I thought maybe I shouldn't have assisted her previously. You are just reminding me to assist her now. And I have a request. So when you turn things around, the last link of Strela, can you turn it? Do you think that will be possible? You want me to do it now? If you have a chance to do it now, you can, or later. But we'll still be working in that location, so maybe we can do it then. All right, that sounds good. So we can do it once uh, in location. And Okay, Samantha, let me help you on this side. So let's make sure we are not tangling up on any of the tethers. All right. I am monitoring the position. Or you control the position of the cube. You hold it, and I'll assist you on this side. I'm holding it. Hold it. I just move it a bit further, so we'll have enough room. Works well. Great. All right, and the second tether to this side. I'm not sure. I'm just looking where the hook is at. Give me just a sec. Let's do it. Move it, move it. All right, hold it, hold it, and hold it, hold it, hold it. I am holding, holding, holding. All right, that's it. Look at that bad boy handrail. It's on the other side. All right, that's good. And uh, on this side, maybe, is it on? Let's see on the Strela. Hold it. Hold it again. I am holding it because I'm going to move it on this side like this. All right. Done. So the tethers are untangled. And now, you know what we should do? I'm holding it on my side now, copy, and I'm releasing it on my side. Yes, and you give me your tether that is a short one. Give me a short tether. We'll do. Oleg, if possible, please turn Orlan lights on. Will do. And this side is uh, empty. This tether is vacant. On this end, the cube is here, the bundle. Is it working out? It's a bit hard to move it towards you. Is this the handrail? Yes. And the second tether you can give to me.
I will take with you. And we have a good attachment right here, so don't move. Okay, this way. Perfect. We are completely on, on MLM. Uh, the area is secured. Everything is under control. And the red remained on the ring, but, and we will need it. Yes, we will. Короткий перерыв связи, я теперь снова с вами. Так, короткий перерыв связи, за это время мы забираем шут ЛОС, и мы забираем крылок баг. Great. One end to swing arm, and the other to the short tether of the suit. Yes. Is that okay? Да. Yes. Main thing to make sure that you are happy. Спасибо. Obviously. The, the stopper and uh, the crew look back are the main things. No, the main thing is your safety. I would agree with you. Move a little bit. And then we can proceed. Mm -hmm. Just like this. Ah, давай, давай это самое. Сладостный, вот те. Unintelligible. So that's it. Samantha, now your turn. 
to perform. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm holding now. Understand? Understand? You are here already. Then you hold on to it. And I will start moving. I need to turn, right? Okay, holding. Okay. Good. So you are holding. Confirm. Perfect. Now, Grulok bag is in place. Do you see Ira? Are you able to see it? Saw it yesterday. Okay, there, yeah, I do see it. Alec, reminder, you can turn on Orlan light. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's just at some point I forgot to turn it off. That's why I'm saving the battery. Understood. Okay, when you're in Eclipse, you don't need to save the battery. Well... I'm actually having enough light. Samantha has really good light. That helps. Okay, we got close to the stitch, and I got this so already. Okay. Okay. I'm moving away. Uh, and, uh, uh, you can try to hook up uh, every other handrails if you have enough span to save energy. Just like this. See, this was a good one. That was a good step. And you see how much more light I have already. With your help. So wherever you can see enough lighting, then you will be able to connect right here, a bit higher, a bit higher. If it's still visible, you can hook it up. Inaudible. Just like this. Thank you. 
Something is in my way. Again. Uh, the short one will show you how much you can reach. Okay. That's it. Now get some rest. And I'm going to jump over this. Reach. And then when you are really close to the arm, then Samantha uh, will need to what? Take a picture? No. Ah, no, make sure you don't bump it. Okay. Antennas here. Crew log bag. You will need to help Samantha there. Understand? Second time I need to provide assistance. Yes, um, this is an uncomfortable spot. Okay, Samantha. Not able to hold here. No, it's okay. That's okay. Okay, I'm holding. I'm holding. I'm holding. Good, good. He, he said not to bump the reflectors. Be careful. I see. So we're at the edge of the gap. Give me the data that is adjustable. You can hold on to that. Right here. Let's rehook it. Give me the short one. This is Mission Control Houston as we approach the four-hour mark in the uh, spacewalk today by Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Christopher Reddy of the European Space Agency. Work uh, continuing on the installation of a platform with uh, an adapter 
on a base point or a grapple attachment point on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module that uh, will be used uh, as an accommodation for future payloads and hardware on upcoming Russian spacewalks. Artemiev and Christopher Reddy are running uh, somewhat behind the timeline for the day, having uh, deployed 10 small nano satellites as the first task of today's spacewalk that began at 9.50 a.m. Central Time, 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time. Those satellites are uh, designed uh, to provide uh, radio electronics technology data to researchers back on Earth. Artemiev uh, manually deployed those satellites one after the other, those satellites weighing about one pound apiece in mass, six inches by six inches by 13 inches. They were all deployed retrograde from the International Space Station. The uh, two spacewalkers then uh, conducted the temporary installation of an adapter for the European robotic arm on the Poisk module that will help facilitate the arm's future use to move an airlock for the Naoka laboratory from its current location on the Rosviet module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the space station up to the Naoka module, again on a future Russian spacewalk. I propose you remove uh, inaudible, and, but if we remove it, then we will not be able to place the adapter. No. I'm saying that it is closer for you not to translate further, not to cover the work site. All right. Am I supposed to help Samantha here? Does she need assistance? No, no. Samantha, how are you doing? I'm all right. I'm holding on to the cube. I wanted to help you here. No, no. No need. Oh, you were talking, I was cutting here. Well, you, you really find the words. Now I can help Samantha. Yes, uh, we have uh, two minutes LOS. Copy. Okay. See where it is. You don't have to rehook too far. No, no, it's okay. Now release the cube to me. Okay. I will move this way, and you can slide right after me. Now let's see if we need to rehook those tethers, or maybe we'll have enough length. This is a pretty cover, isn't it? Can you hold the cube just a sec? I will rehook. Uh, because my tether on uh, my hook got stuck. Thank you. Mm 
To get into a comfortable position. Stand by. The sun is bright. So I'm in the work site. In the position, give me the cube. And get closer to me. Something is holding it. That's me. It's a tether that's holding it. Shall I rehook? Or just release? Okay, that's good. A good view of the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module, and you see the European robotic arm attached to it. The arm uh, was launched uh, in a stowed configuration on Naoka on a proton rocket last July from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. As Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Christopheretti continue work to install a platform on one of the attachment points on Naoka for future spacewalk operations. Get close. You can close it right now. Okay. Wait. One more time. Second attempt. Or you can try from this side if that one is not working out. Right. Not easy. Let's try one more time. Yeah. Unintelligible. Yes, I can see. No, no, close, close. I'm holding, and okay, it's it's not it's not latching. Are you holding? Are you able to hold only from on one side, and I can do it in the middle. Close, close, close. Now turn the handle, pull the handle. This probably needed to be adjusted. Try to hold, try to hold where I'm holding, where I'm holding with my hand at the center. See, it's not moving. At the center, yes. Now make sure not to move it. This way. Tether is short. Uh, 
had to reach with both hands. This way, this way. Push it. Now give me your hand, your half. You don't have to hold. Just close the latch. Yes, close. Good. Good, good job, guys. Trying to be like you. Okay. Take a breather. And take a picture. And maybe Samantha will do as well how the platform with the adapter is uh, installed. We will take a picture. Which camera you want? Glitter. If you have glitter available, use that. Okay. So the glitter, right? Да, ну ты на глиссер и Саманта на глиссер. You use the glitter and Samantha uses the glitter, so we have glitter, glitter. All right. Shall I just press on it? Yes, and make sure it starts blinking. Press one time. It started blinking. And Wow, well, that is so interesting that on the way it got charged more. It was uh, 1.5 uh, cubes, and now it is three. Very good. I am taking pictures. All right. Oh, this is a good window here as well. And I see that uh, the probe is already ready for the... Uh, for the airlock camera, very good. So, so, so this is when when you put the airlock camera on the the, the probe is already on it, so you can check it out. How about the cameras on the helmets? Are they operating? Yes, they are. So you can see it then. Uh, do we need to adjust them at all? No, you are good. You are in good shape. So I'm pressing on this camera, but nothing is happening on this camera. And maybe it got discharged. Samantha, take a look at the camera. No, no, there are no photos there. We want to make sure that at least one is taken. Okay, I see it. Mm -hmm. It looks like a good time to call home now. Okay, pictures taken. Let's put it in, the, take a picture of the crew log bag. Олег, Саманта, тут я хотел с вами поговорить. Олег, Саманта, я скажу, вот мы обсуждали, что... We're glad to be talking to you. Мы обсуждали, что на пульте, а потом на третьей плоскости клапана на руке, Олег... Remember, we discussed... Такой план и оставим that, Oleg, you will go first uh, from the panel 
along the MLI. Say again. You will translate first towards the panel and the plane three. Okay. In this case, my suggestion is let's work with the wrist not in the order we discussed, but the other way around. Samantha will be working from the side of era that is closer to the PHO, and Oleg, you will be working on the side where Samantha is right now. Okay. So I don't have to go anywhere, right? You will just have to move a little bit, but Samantha, you will have to translate to the other side. Okay. So we are talking about the protective window, right? Yes. Removing protective window from the end effector on the BT inaudible. The one that is close to Samantha. Yes. Okay. Where's the camera? Camera is on the other side. We cannot see it from here. It is where this is Mission Control Houston. Uh, Russian flight controllers uh, now providing uh, the two spacewalkers, Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Christopheretti, with direction for the next series of tasks on today's spacewalk with the uh, completion of the uh, re relocation of a platform with adapters uh, and a temporary installation of an adapter for the European uh, robotic arm on the Poisk module. The uh, crew uh, has uh, completed the work to uh, install a platform with an adapter on a base point or attachment point on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. The two spacewalkers will split tasks now. One of them uh, will be uh, moving toward uh, one of the two end effectors on the European robotic arm to remove and replace a protective window from the camera light unit uh, camera that is installed on the end effector or the hand of the uh, European robotic arm. The other uh, spacewalker will move uh, to an external control panel for the arm to switch it from an operational mode to a stowage mode for the time being. Placing that control panel into a stowage mode uh, basically uh, puts it in uh, a standby or preparatory mode for its relocation on a future Russian spacewalk. What did you say? Did you find the camera? The uh, replacement of the protective window on the camera light unit, uh, one of two such units uh, that provide illumination for work uh, site uh, acuity on the European robotic arm, Hold on. This is the camera. Uh, will uh, likely improve the uh, capability for uh, vision uh, to be seen out of uh, that uh, camera light unit uh, for the end effector camera on one of the two ends which are identical for the European robotic arm. And Oleg, the protective window is on the bottom side. Can you reach everywhere you need? Well, we didn't even have to translate to the MLM. We could have worked from the airlock. I think so, but we got, we have what we have. Okay, I see the old protective window. Okay, Oleg, just please do not touch the white areas on the camera. Okay, I will not. Artem, I don't have enough room on my side. Handrail 4143 is located between era and effector and some other equipment. Uh, this translation path is very small and I am 
afraid to touch the reflectors, so I'm not going to work at this site. Copy that, Samantha. Oleg, do you think you will be able to handle it by yourself, or you need assistance from Samantha? I don't know. If it is says, I will try to move closer. Oleg, I understand that you can remove it by yourself, but what about installation? I think we, sh we should be able to fit the two of us at the work site. Uh, we're, I was thinking that the battery could move to the side a little bit, but it is not moving. That's right, the battery won't move. Okay. Only one bolt is restraining it? Yes. It also has restraining detents. The bolt can back out about six turns. Okay. Removed. Almost lost it. Copy. Okay, we need two attachment points. Okay, the frame is removed. It is opaque. Copy. Oleg, instead of wire tying it, maybe you can put it in the crew lock bag? Well, I'm going to leave it dangling. It's not a good idea to have it on the red. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. What do we do next? Samantha, your tether is flapping around. Watch out. Okay, I got it. <laughs> oh, I thought you were getting ready for a photograph. No, I was holding with the other hand. Okay, let me find a tether to hook it up. Okay, I have the frame of the protective window double tethered. So now we have to move away from this camera? Yes, Oleg. Translate to the panel and plane three. Okay. Samantha, are you staying here or you're coming? I'm coming. Oh, there's that device. Okay, let me flip it over and then I'll assist you.
так. Сейчас. Здесь тут вам не, не очень удобно. А еще говорить, где это Comfortable working here, plus we have to avoid touching those things. Олег, Саманта. Go ahead, Артем. До моего указания просьба не смотреть в сторону видеокамеры Еры. Please do not look towards Era camera until you have a go from me. Спасибо. Okay. Thank you. The deal. Сейчас хотим пробовать включать лазер. Talking over each other. Давай мне какой-нибудь свой корабль. Give me one of your hooks. Okay, there. Okay, it is secure. Now, hold on to something with your hand and give me your second hook. All right, so let me pull you. Okay, don't... Do not fight me. Look, your red tether is... Here, you can remove it from the cube. We will pick it up later. Just leave it on the handrail. Yes, it is between your tethers. Олег, скажи, а вы все файлы оставляли сейчас на платформе с адаптерами, да? Олег, забрали уже. Did you leave all tethers on the platform with adapters, or you did you take some with you? No, we left them on the platform to pick them up on the way back. А тогда на обратной дороге заберем. Okay, don't forget to pick them up on the way back. Okay, copy. Okay, Samantha, hold on. Let me. Attach it to the handrail. Okay. We also need the crew lock bag secured. Alec, we have a target on the PRM adapter, so please watch out for it. I know, we already passed this location. Artem, say again, please. He said not to touch the target on the adapter and on the UPP. Okay. Okay, crew lock bag is closed. Translating along the circular handrail. Expedition 67 is ready for evening DPC. Hey, good evening. It's good to work with you guys today. I only have a few items for you. The first one is for Chell, a follow-up. Earlier you talked about where to put that boroscope AV cable. I have a location for you. It's probably going to take you about five minutes. 
the location for that cable, it goes into PMM1 overhead 2, locker golf, and it into a large Ziploc bag labeled USOS endoscope kit. Inside that bag, there'll be a smaller bag labeled endoscope number two. Okay, copy, uh, it's a PMM overhead two locker G and a large Ziploc, USOS endoscope kit, and then a smaller Ziploc endoscope two. Good copy. Hey, Wadi, for you, uh, we noticed that you spent quite a bit extra time on that uh, rack in Node 3, the F5 rack. We wanted to know how much extra time you uh, spent so we could clean up our procedures as well as give you credit for that time. Yeah, so it was, I think, active um, for green for a lot longer than I ended up spending on it, just kind of going in and out of Node 3 as I was working other activities. So probably not as long as, as you guys were thinking. Um, I'd say probably an extra, no more than an extra half hour, um, just cleaning up um, all of the cable routing and um, repositioning everything. It def definitely does not look as nice as it is, did after uh, Chell fixed up Node 3 for us, but it'll do for now. Okay, great. Thanks for that information. Hey, lastly for you guys, wanted to let you know that we're tracking a potential need for a PDAM later tonight at the end of the EVA activities. Um, right now the object is, it's not actionable, but we just wanted to give you a heads up in case it starts trending that way. We copy, thanks for the heads up, and uh, that will definitely be after the EVA concludes. Yes, uh, we will, they will have the hatch closed and repressed by the time that we get there, but we will be taking actions um, for you guys likely during maybe that repress time or near the end of that. We got you all. Okay, that's all I had. Anything for us in Houston? I don't think anything further um, for you all. Thanks for a great day. It's a pleasure working with you all as always. Likewise, Huntsville, Munich, uh, Munich Scuba have no That's a pretty strong glue they used. This is Mission Control Houston, four hours and 27 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Uh, you just heard uh, the evening daily planning conference uh, with uh, the crew on board the International Space Station not involved in today's spacewalk. That old cheat sheet. Spacecraft communicator Alex Kanalakos here in Mission Control talking uh, to the crew on board and informing them that uh, we have been tracking uh, throughout the course of the day a potential conjunction with a piece of uh, orbital debris. We are uh, expecting updated tracking information on this object a short time from now. At the moment, it poses no uh, concern uh, for the safety of the crew or the spacewalkers outside, with the potential time for closest approach of this object uh, well after the expected end of today's spacewalk. But we're monitoring it closely and uh, monitoring it in conjunction uh, with our Russian counterparts uh, before any future action is taken. Again, uh, the uh, call from uh, Kanalakos to uh, Jessica Watkins on board the International Space Station about uh, the potential for a debris avoidance maneuver later in the day after the spacewalk is completed uh, that uh, would uh, put us out of uh, the vicinity of a piece of orbital debris that uh, we have been tracking for the past few hours. At the moment, uh, there is no concern uh, and no action that will be required unless uh, future tracking updates dictate otherwise. We'll keep you posted as uh, we move along uh, throughout the course of the afternoon. As we approach the uh, four and a half hour mark in the uh, spacewalk, we are watching a, a variety of actions uh, by Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Christopheretti outside of the International Space Station as they work along uh, the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. They're in the process of uh, removing and replacing a protective window 
from the camera light unit, uh, one of two such units that are on each end uh, of the 37-foot-long European robotic arm along what are called end effectors, or the hands, if you will, the grappling mechanisms for the robotic arm. And uh, they are uh, reconfiguring uh, a device called an EMMI, that is the acronym for a, uh, an external control panel that uh, operates uh, the robotic arms functioning uh, from uh, commands that can be sent uh, from spacewalkers uh, operating outside of the International Space Station. They're putting uh, that control panel into what is known as a stowage mode uh, that uh, will basically put it in hibernation in preparation for its relocation on a future Russian spacewalk. It'll be relocated from one uh, base point or a fixture point uh, to another on uh, the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. And there is that external control panel. It looks like a suitcase uh, with the lid open. The camera. Samantha, how are you feeling? We are at three and a half hours, Mark. I'm feeling well. Okay, only two bars left on camera charge. 21, 22, 23. We will need to maintain one bar for imagery after panel ops and after protective window. We will also need the camera for a platform with adapters in the airlock. Well, we have three bolts and handrails, too, on the node module. Okay, I will hook you up to a clean handrail with nice numbers, 4565. Five. Now hand me your second hook. Yes, swap it like that. Hold on with your right hand and use your left hand to hand me the hook. Okay, I'm moving you away from the thruster. Excellent. Now, mm, control your position a little bit to the side. Hold on. Now go. You see, this line is contaminated, but these engines, these thrusters have never been fired, so you can use them to push against. Okay, hold on. I'm going to move to the side and help you. Okay. Okay, like this. There we go. You can release your hand. You are already tethered. That's it. Artem, standing by for your go for panel ops. Uh, let's okay. Before we do that, Samantha, you now have to be on plane three. There are two MLI flaps that you need to close. Yes, I see them. Okay, Samantha, please proceed with this operation, and when you are complete, come back. And in the meantime, Oleg and I will start executing the further cheat sheet. Okay, while we are talking, the handrail...
Так, давай приступим тогда. Первым делом шпаргалку. Окей, okay, Олег, let's start. Take the cheat sheet. Take it with you. Говори, говори. Yes, go ahead, Артем. Да, первым делом мы выключаем тумблер питания. So, first we flip the power switch. Okay. Выключаю. Turning off the power. Power switch is off. Everything is off. Copy, all LEDs are off. Copy. Now turn on the power switch. Done. LED is green. Copy. Then on the display go to menu. Reading the menu. Copy. Now, put the start-stop switch in the stop position and keep it in this position for two or three seconds. Copy, start-stop switch in the stop position, holding for two seconds. Complete. Copy that, Oleg. Now, on the display menu, you will see other menu. Language selection options. Yes. Tumbler start stop. Положение start. Copy that, Oleg. Start stop switch to the start position. Copy. Holding two seconds. And I confirm. Uh, select menu. Showing options for the bus and ECC. Copy now. St put. Start, stop, switch to the stop position. Copy, holding for two seconds. Complete. Okay, I see selection for star ID. And I see the option for my ID. Copy, start, switch, switch to the start position. Copy, holding for two seconds. Complete. Question. Start, no, yes. Tumbler start, stop, положение start. Copy, start, stop, switch to the start position. Copy, holding for two seconds. Complete. Menu is off. Check out. Pass, check out in progress. RAM, ROM, check out, running. Принимай один, CPC, English. Ефром, чекаут, раннинг. Ждем загорания всех дисплеев. So we're waiting for all the displays to come alive. Standing by. Turned off, and now they're turning on. All the windows of all the displays. Check out, start. So it uh, proposes that I press start, and you should see the parameters on the display. And what messages do you have? Uh, could you please repeat? Parameters of the display. Which message do you have on the display? Parameters of the display. Variable data. Oh, nothing. It's empty. You don't have MMI or anything else, nothing? Oh, that I have, yes. In those parameters, variable data, uh, there is a, a upper window is empty. The rest of them are all filled out. So everything we've had before, we still have them. Okay, toggle, switch, start, stop. In the position, start, copy, start. Now it proposes to press stop. And 
I have caution and emergency in red. Are they all uh, lit up, all the LEDs, you mean? Yes, let me see. I'll tell you what is uh, lit up. So these are lit up. Give me just a second. I'm looking and monitoring all the displays of the control panel. Oscar GK is not on. All the other LEDs are lit up. Uh, GCC is not uh, lit up because of the sun. I couldn't see. Otko TK is, TK is not lit up. That is correct. I confirm. Oleg, please stand by. Okay, now it's working. And now it's Otkolteka. I didn't do anything. But now CC is on. ECC is lit up now. And GK. Uh, was not lit up before, and it's still not lit up now. CL. The toggle switch, you mean? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now we're on the same page. That's good. And then you look at the display menu. Check out the toggle switch. Yes. I copy, then start was depressed, then I'm pressing stop, I copy. Now it proposes to turn on emergency. The toggle switch says emergency, and it's in the emergency position. Yes, I have done that. Now it's telling me to go back to the initial. Yes, so bring it back to the upper right-hand side position. So in the menu, I have menu and the toggle switch. Is it lit up? Speaking simultaneously. Let me look. The LED. Uh, please wait, there's uh, the sun, and I can get an uh, erroneous config. Okay, yes. Oleg, please stand by, then continue on the go from MCCM. We have to do a couple of steps from the ground. All right, Samantha, how are you doing? Uh, so, the MLI flaps are closed, expected configuration, which, uh, Andra, let us have you used, can you see that, you, can you take a photo of the final config? I will try, because I'm not sure. I just pressed the button. Oh, no, not the one for the camera, but just for the procedure. So I pressed the button number 12. What else shall I do? No, if you turn it on one time, it's on. If you turn it two times, then it switches off. Well, I depressed it the first time, and it's not lit up. So maybe because you have a visor, you cannot see it so well. All right. Samata. Well, in February they turned it on. 
Well, I cannot tell you whether the LED is on. It's not very visible. All right. Well, in that case, we don't need it. Well, can you take a, a photo of that config? Could you please take those pictures? And then looking towards SM. Uh, what exactly? MLI valves and service module. All right. We'll do that. It's not even MLI as much. And once you finish the filming, then please move towards Oleg. All right. Oleg, uh, just uh, proceed and put the stuff for storage. Please stand by. It's just in the opposite direction. Stand by also. All right. I'm by the control panel. Yes. Uh, with the sun, it's really hard to see the status of the LEDs. So, Artyom, what are we doing now? Oleg? So, our partners got a message that it's overheated a little bit, so they're sending commands from the ground. And then in about 10 minutes, we'll resume. We need that much time. So we'll be working with the control panel right now. And so we'll do what's required, and then we'll put it into the storage mode. No, prior to that, you can uh, leave it on because we want to see the status. All right. The sun is shining straight at the control panel right now, so maybe it will not be as visible with the direct sun at it. Yes. What you can do. And also, could you please uh, tell us the status of the control panel via the voice loop? All right, let me have a look. A GM. GM. Let me see, the sun is really blinding. All right. TM, then space one, two, space zero, and then nothing but spaces. We copy, how copy? We copy. How do you copy? All right. So you can look. Right. So you can turn it on and put it in a storage config. And then uh, make another recording using a glisser system. All right. I couldn't hear you when I was, once I was activating the glisser system. So Glisser is on. So what shall I do now? What's the status of the Glisser? Oh, rather, what's the status of the equipment? Please could you please use the Glisser for that. Then without turning it off, you can switch the equipment back to the storage config. And then I have additional words after. All right. I, I'm afraid that I will not be able to see much here. Here, I think now you can see the image and the pictures. All right. And now twice. I put it in that position. 
power is going off. No, no, do not switch the power off. Just the toggle switch should be switched twice. That's all. Yes, yes, I understand. That's my attempt. Twice. One time and the second time. So all the displays and all the LEDs should be switched off or FF. Yes, and I confirm. Power is on and LED is on. No, Oleg, could you please uh, take another recording using the glisser system? And then you can translate towards the circular sector. Will do. I'm closing it right now. I copy, Samantha. We see that you're close to Oleg now. You're back. I am. I am closing the exterior cover, and with uh, the help of a hook, it's closed. All right. And now the valve. All right, the camera is on. The camera is on. We copy Oleg. Now, please uh, translate towards the circular sector. And on the way back, please pick up the tethers. This is Mission Control Houston, just a few minutes shy of the five-hour mark in today's spacewalk by Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Christopher Reddy as they work on uh, the removal and replacement of a protective cover over uh, one of two identical camera light units on either end of uh, the two end effectors or hands on the European robotic arm, the 37-foot-long robotic arm uh, that is attached to the Naoka multi-purpose laboratory module. The uh, replacement of this protective window uh, will improve the acuity of the end effector camera for the various tasks the arm will be uh, working on in uh, future Russian spacewalks to move hardware and payloads around the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The uh, two spacewalkers uh, completed the deployment of 10 small satellites, nanosatellites, part of uh, radio technology experiment data collection. They were deployed in uh, sequential fashion, one after the other, over a 40-minute period as uh, the first major task of the spacewalk. The two spacewalkers also uh, completed the temporary installation of an adapter for the European robotic arm on a on an attachment point on the Poisk module and uh, reset an external control panel into stowage mode for its future uh, relocation during an upcoming Russian spacewalk. The uh, crew members also uh, worked uh, to install a platform on uh, the Naoka module. All this for upcoming Russian spacewalks that will be involved in moving uh, the airlock 
for the Naoka module from its current location on the Rosviet module on the Russian segment of the station through the use of the European robotic arm, which also will be used for other outfitting tasks for the new laboratory module that was launched to the station on a proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome last July. Give me your second tether. All right, I see it is right here. But it's on a circular handrail here. Yes, I can see that. The uh, report uh, from the Russian Mission Control Center indicates that uh, that external control panel for the operation of the arm has now been placed in its stowage mode, temporarily put in hibernation, if you will, and uh, thermal insulation has been closed over uh, the uh, Naoka European robotic arm mechanism at the particular stowage location for that control panel. Yes, I am. That's very good. That sounds good. All right, I've secured it in place, so we are good, yes. Now we'll rehook. So, do you want to go first, or shall I? I can go first, so please uh, move this way, and I'll move myself to the left. Then we'll have enough space. In three minutes, we'll have the orbital night. Sounds good. We copy.
dark. Now, let's have a look. Give it to me. You can use any handrail that is convenient. All right. Give me the short tether. Yes, uh, the short one I've secured on the handrail. All right, and I can also help you out secure. If you can do it yourself, do it. Otherwise, I'm standing by to help. Please wait. I think I should go around it. And uh, this is what I have those hooks uh, right by my side. Do you think I should take them? Yes, of course you can take them. All right. Do you want me to give it to you? Well, let's see how many. There should be four total, so you can take two tethers and I keep two tethers. Shall I take the short one or the long one? You, either way, you can take a short one and a long one, whatever works. Okay. Take them. Well, just pick them all up and then we'll divide them. All right, so the lights are on. All right, now. Artyom, are you here? I am. So shall we install the protective window? Or are we standing by? No, Oleg. We are ready with the instructions. Did you take... Uh, those uh, tethers from the platform? We will. Well, Samantha is picking them up and then we'll divide them. Okay. And regarding the protective window? So then you can work only on the protective uh, window and Samantha can work on the tether. Yes, we can work in parallel. That will work fine. We copy all. We'll do it.
All right. Is it working out? The new ones, they taking the new ones? Yes. And the old ones? Yes, Samantha. Speaking simultaneously. Inaudible. What did you say? Artyom, please repeat. Did not copy. Yes, Samantha. What I was trying to say is that Samantha pick up all the tethers, the old ones, the new ones, all. All right, I'm doing my best. Five turns. And then we'll install it and at five meters. All right. Houston on Space Ground 3. And with you on five revolutions. Hey, Farmer, I got good news for you all. That object no. that you were tracking, uh, the PC went green, so no, uh, no actions tonight. Okay, great news. Thanks for the update. Have a good night. You as well. This is Mission Control Houston, and good news from spacecraft communicator Alex Kanalakos uh, telling uh, Bob Hines on board the International Space Station that uh, the latest tracking received by our ballistics officers here in Mission Control indicate no issue with the uh, object that we have been tracking over the past few hours that uh, resulted in some preliminary planning for a possible debris avoidance maneuver after the uh, completion of today's spacewalk by Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Cristoforetti. So we're standing down from any further uh, preparatory action. No debris avoidance maneuver required. The object, no threat to the International Space Station, and we are done with that issue for the day. We probably do not need the hook on uh, this bracket anymore. Wait, Artem. Just 
сказал, что нельзя за эту поверхность трогать. Поэтому... Well, you told me I shouldn't touch this area. And uh, actually the uh, hook right now is uh, touching, I mean, touching this area. And, um, well, I'm not worried about the hook. Well, I'm talking about the surface and not the, the hook. А если ты закончила э, с фалами, Samantha, if you are done with the others, can you move further from this gap? Uh, I have one more attached, and I need to figure out which hook is where. Okay, I am done with this area, and the wretched ridge, ridge is uh, bent. So what shall I do? So shall I use the moment on the ridge? Oh, only the wretched ridge, but with a large uh, leather application. Well, no, uh, Alex, wait. Саманта. На связи. Go ahead. Олег, Саманта, да, сейчас как связи. Саманта, выход ЛС. В общем, время ВКД сейчас 5.13. We have 5.13 p.m. We are making a decision not to work with the retainer, but we need to expedite activities so that the Strela is configured. All right. Олег, ключ, ключ барашек нам не нужен. Олег, uh, we, we don't need a wing nut uh, range. Ну что, выкинуть его? Shall I throw it away or what? Засунуть в крылок бэк. Put it in a крылок бэк. Ну, я что делаю? That's what I'm doing. Я как раз это и делаю. I'm doing that exactly. А, я, я думал, oh, I see. Случайно вынул. I apologize. Я думал, может быть, ты по accident pulled it out. I have a question. Let's go ahead, Samantha. Or proposal. If we are not working with the tainers, since we don't have much time, I am just waiting here where the Estrella is aiming. Because in fact it would be really great for me to ride on a Estrella. Maybe I can still do that. Um, wait, Samantha. Let me think. Because I think it will be needed to move uh, faster. And then we'll have enough time. Wait, Samantha. Can you close the uh, MLI first on Velcro? This conversation uh, between Russian flight controllers and uh, the two spacewalkers offering a, a contemporary view of where we're at in the timeline. The uh, crew members outside of the International Space Station having installed the protective window on the camera light unit number two on one of the two end effectors of the European robotic arm.
Now considering what their next task will be, on uh, the bucket list for today, uh, the maneuvering of one of two Strela booms, those are the telescoping booms that uh, allow spacewalkers to move around uh, various work sites on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. One of the uh, pl tasks planned for today was the extension of one of those two Strela booms from the Zarya module all the way up to the Poisk module, positioning it for its use on future Russian spacewalks. Looks really clean. Thank you. Is it okay? Can you take a couple of photos? All right. We will. I'll take a couple of pictures. Лег, и еще просьба большая, помимо рамки с защитными стеклами. The protective window removed the uh, grapple mechanism, the one that what you were working with uh, last time. How do I get there? You don't need to. Uh, you have the tool in the area of your waist. Well, I need to open this and get in there, right? Alec, if you grab on ERA handle, that will be on the left side, closer to Samantha. There is a, a, a hole that is, has a label, grapple. Let me think. Специалистам надо для работы на следующей неделе. The specialist will need it next time, next week. Okay, uh, let's uh, finish with photography, not use up any more time. Okay. I turned off the camera. Okay. Go ahead, Artem. Move to Strela, stow the hardware. Okay. Okay, Samantha, what hooks do you have here? I have eight of them, and four tethers. Okay, give me some of it. So where are you? I'm here. 
I'm here. Good. What are these tethers? Are you handing it to me? Give me... doesn't matter which one. This is the first hand. I, I will need to sort them out. Understood. Okay. We'll figure it out. Just a minute. Maybe let's make it short, huh? First one, the second one. What else you have? Give me this one. The third one. And give me this one. So I hooked on four, uh, four hooks on you uh, and four on me. I have. It's a lot for me. And so I have this and that on swing arms, so four. And I have four on a short tether, so that's it. I just don't see where this one is attached to. Okay, one, two, three, fourth, one. So we got all four. Good. All right, let's keep moving. The wood car goes three a lot. All right. With Alex, Samantha. We discussed your proposal. You are waiting on MRM2. Waiting for Alec. We believe it will not be safe to uh, ride on Stella for you. How about You go towards the Strela adapter, and then we'll have a, to decide uh, at that time whether we perform this task this time or next one, at the time when you are on uh, the handrails to transfer by FGB. All right. Okay, moving. Script ship is out. This is Mission Control Houston as we approach the five and a half hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk as Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Cristoforetti have completed uh, the installation of a new protective window uh, along uh, the camera light unit number two on one of the two identical end effectors on the European robotic arm. Uh, the Russian flight controllers uh, in charge of today's spacewalk 
instructing uh, Artemiev and Christopher Reddy to move uh, to uh, the uh, Strela boom, one of uh, two identical telescoping booms uh, that enable spacewalkers to move around from one worksite to another on the Russian segment of the station and await further instructions as the Russians uh, try to ascertain uh, the time so far on today's spacewalk, the 251st in support of space station assembly maintenance and upgrades, and determine uh, what the next tasks will be for the time that remains in today's activities. Okay, uh, reaching this path and uh, translating over this gap. Now here, here is a hook, uh -huh. stand by. Now, now the next one, and give me the hook. Okay. Stand by. Now you can move. Now give me the hook. Uh, the long one. Hold on to the handrail. Five and a half hours, CT. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, we just started to work. A bit tired, of course. No. Just like first time? Not really. My crew log bag is tired. Uh, we are at the end of uh, 
Ranga Cargo Strela. All right. Now move as still. Manta, если ты повернешься дальше спиной к Ере, if you move your back to uh, Ira, we start camera check out. What? I, I wasn't able to hear. No, you are good. You are away from Ira now. Uh, we'll check the camera and during that time do not look at it. All right. Now you will be waiting. Now that the uh, two spacewalkers have uh, replaced the protective window on the camera light unit on one of the uh, two end effectors on the European robotic arm, the Russian flight controllers will check out uh, whether or not that window improved the visual acuity of that particular camera unit, as is expected. The uh, camera unit, uh, much in the same uh, way that uh, the Canada Arm 2 robotic arm functions, provides uh, visual cues in the operation and precise alignment for grappling uh, for the end effectors, which are the hands, the grappling mechanisms on either end of the 37-foot-long uh, European robotic arm. Okay, one of the towers is on the ring. Copy. And the second one, too. A good view of the uh, two spacewalkers at the very bottom of your screen. They are making uh, their way uh, well past uh, the European robotic arm that you see near the top of your screen and are uh, working their way towards the uh, Strela boom, the Strela being uh, the Russian word for arrow, one of two telescoping booms that uh, enable spacewalkers to move uh, from one work site to another for various tasks on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Once the two spacewalkers are in place. They'll uh, receive further instructions from the Russian flight control team on the next uh, step or steps in today's spacewalk. Let us get there first and then we'll see. That's right. Okay. We are on the rain. Happy. Is anything in the way? Okay. Let me turn around. Let's keep moving along Strela. Okay. 